Sean Payton told NFL Network that the Broncos will not be trading Jerry Judy or Cortland Sutton. There's been a lot of talk about Judy, Sutton, or K.J. Hamler being traded. Now, Hamler's got a torn pack, so oh, he ain't getting traded. Horrible. But Judy, yeah, Judy and Sutton, uh, there's been talk about them being available. Peyton says neither is being traded. Is that, is that the truth? Is it a concession that no one has called? Or is it just part of the posturing that goes on before a guy gets traded? Where, where's your BS meter on that? I, I mean, I think that part of it right there, it's pretty high on the the, the boo shit meter right there, okay? I mean, it's, it's uh, up there, you. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say it's like an eight, you know, because what, what, what? how did this unfold, right? They're tradable, they're tradable, they're tradable. You got the word out there. Everybody knows, okay, now, oh, hey, hey, I like these guys. We're not trading them. We like them. Right. I didn't nothing blew us away. Right. Uh, the offer. So, hey, we like you guys again. I, I, he he made his point that they were available and now he sees where it goes. But now he's also, you know, making his bed and wait, they might actually be in the building with me here. There might not be as a market like I thought for these two. So I got to make sure they know I like them, too. So he's kind of playing both angles right there. Uh, I'm giving it an eight on the BS meter right there, Mike. I think if somebody called the trade for them and he liked that deal, he'd get it done today. Yeah, I think uh, I think a, a high number is justified, right. maybe even higher than eight. Yeah, it's, right. It may just be a recognition of the fact that no one is called. So love the one you're with. I mean, that's the point. You got these guys under contract. You're not going to cut them. So if no one calls to trade for these guys, they're part of our team. They are part of our team, and we're going to go do our best with those guys, even though we would have liked to have potentially flipped them for assets. Because I suspect that Peyton believes he could take an expensive veteran that he doesn't know, go out and draft a guy like a Michael Thomas in round two. Right. Somebody he's scouted. Right. Somebody he's fallen in love with. Somebody who is cheaper dollar for dollar. No matter who it is, you take veteran with big contract that I don't know versus cheaper young player that I get a chance to pick I'll take the cheaper younger player that I get a chance to pick I'll trust my ability to go find good young receivers teach them my offense and we go from there and then we have money we can spend elsewhere yeah I, I think that's a fair way to assess the situation let alone kind of how you said too like oh well, I'm Sean Payton and I know veteran value deals at receiver too to couple that with the young guy like you're talking about you know, we saw him have throughout the years Ted Ginn and other type of receivers like that. So, yeah, I think more importantly right now, he's looking for assets. He is. And, you know, assets to continue to build this team the way he wants, let alone he knows, wait, Jerry Judy, you know, he could have a big year in the offense this year, and all of a sudden he wants a big payday. And all this, like, so you're explaining it right. Cortland Sutton, there's a little questions as far as, hey, it was a guy that was kind of one of the, top 10-ish receivers in football, hurt his knee, hasn't quite regained that form since then. So, yeah, I think, you know, he's looking for his his own blank canvas here and and formulating this thing the way he wants to, and he's just seeing what's out there for, for these guys if he dangles them out there for the, the rest of the NFL. And when you consider the fact that the Broncos are trapped by this Russell Wilson contract that gives him a bloated cap number, although this year isn't that bad, in future years, if they keep him, it's going to go up and up and up. Those low cap numbers on a big contract mean big cap numbers are coming. You have to build out the rest of your roster with young, cheap guys. More lottery tickets, more wage scale contracts, more young guys to balance out the big chunk of cap space being devoted to the Russell Wilson. And all of this is hinging on Russell Wilson eventually earning that contract and not being the guy that the Broncos move on from next year, which we've talked about this before. Even though it would be a significant cap charge next year, I think it's this year. And if it doesn't work, it's see you later, Russ. But either way, either way, Chris, they're going to need guys on the roster who are young and cheap because they're either going to have Russell Wilson at a big cap number or they're going to not have Russell Wilson at a big cap number. Yeah. They need more young, good players who don't have big salaries. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a it's a, a coach who wants to build something sustainable, and because of that, 
He doesn't want, you know, the old regime's people or some of the way, you know, some of those pieces that he didn't evaluate or doesn't think they fit the way he wants to play. So he's slowly going to try to flip over the roster to get the type of guys he deems that are necessary to, to run his system. And I think that's what he'll do. You know, we see a lot of great coaches when they get this new job, they always kind of flip the team over. Everybody's unnoticed a little bit. There's a new sheriff in town. And uh, we know Sean Payton's the sheriff for sure there in Denver. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.